Amid these crises, President Biden sat down with China's president for a meeting outside San Francisco, drawing global attention. Skylar Henry reports on the summit and what's at stake. The two leaders greeted each other with a warm handshake. Presidents Biden and Xi Jinping face to face for the first time in a year. Mr. President, we know each other for a long time. We haven't always agreed, which was not a surprise to anyone. But our meetings have always been candid, straightforward, and useful. Meeting outside San Francisco, President Biden was hoping for an agreement to crack down on fentanyl and central to his agenda, reestablishing military to military communication. China cut off those channels last year after Nancy Pelosi's visit to Taiwan while she was Speaker of the House. President Xi said the relationship between the countries has never been smooth sailing, but that turning their backs is not an option. It is unrealistic for one side to remodel the other, and conflict and confrontation has unbearable consequences for both sides. The U.S. went into the meeting hoping to ease tension between the two superpowers and to signal to the world that although they're rivals, they're not looking for conflict. The meeting comes as tensions spike over the wars in Ukraine and Gaza. I value our conversation because I think it's paramount that you and I understand each other clearly, leader to leader, with no misconceptions or miscommunication. The White House said President Biden had a list of sticky topics for his Chinese counterpart, including human rights and trade, and promised he would confront where confrontation is needed. Skyler Henry, CBS News, Washington. That U.S.-China meeting took place alongside a gathering called APEC, the Asia-Pacific Leaders Forum. It wraps up on Friday.